If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, save it. He's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Keith Williams here with Fred Moore Guitar Lessons, and uh, that's a Zach Williams Chain Breaker, uh, kind of a worship song, good good gospel song, you know. And uh, and we do a lot of country stuff, and we do some gospel stuff, hymns and things like this. This is our first, um, I guess, what you'd call worship song, and uh, we used to do this at, at church quite a bit. It's just a good song, but he, Zach Williams just got that. He's kind of He's a little country and southern rock in there too, so just uh, got a good feel to it. But anyway, it's an awesome song, awesome message to it. And uh, anyway, we're going to learn to play that today. It's going to be in the key of G. And appreciate y'all tuning in to uh, our channel, Fret More. Be sure to check out our other videos. We've got a lot of uh, other cover songs that we uh, we teach lessons on, and teaching chords, and teaching uh, licks, and 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 things like that, little runs and that sort of thing. So anyway. Be sure and subscribe to us if it's something you like and give us a thumbs up here. And we're going to jump right into this thing. Key of G. And uh, we got a G, C, D, and an E minor. Uh, so we got a, uh, uh, that's really all we've got going on here. A couple of verses and a, and a bridge. And uh, the chorus about three times. <clears throat> so anyway, just a good little song. We're going to jump right in there. I'll show you how uh, I play a G. And, uh, and I'm going to show you a different way to play an E minor today than, than what I normally teach just because of this song, okay? And a C as well, okay? So a couple of little things that's going to be new. If you've seen any of my other videos, this is going to be a little new for you, okay? All right, so, uh, <clears throat> and I just like the flexibility of, of playing a, you know, a C a different way, a G a different way, even an E minor a different way. Uh, uh, so it just depends on the song. Uh, if I'm jumping back and forth between chords, and that's why I, I changed the positioning and the fingering of, of those notes or those scores a lot of times because it makes it simpler in, in that particular song. All right, so G chord, uh, we're going to jump up here to the uh, uh, fifth string on the second fret with the first finger. Our second finger is going to go on the sixth string of the third fret, okay? We're going to take our uh, third finger down here on the second string of the third fret and our pinky finger, our fourth finger there on the first string of the third fret, okay? Now... Now, what we do, and the way this song starts out, is uh, it, it kind of jumps back and forth, kind of a G to C type thing. What we're going to do, instead of going to C every time, I'm still going to show you a C chord, and there's occasion I do go to the C chord, uh, the actual C, uh, but this is pretty similar to the C. It's, it's a, a, I don't know what uh, it's really called, but it is, it is a variation of the C. And, uh, and what we do is we just bring these two fingers down, where they're on the fifth and sixth, we drink, bring them down to the fourth and the fifth, okay? Okay, because you, if you're in the C position, you're playing the fourth and the fifth with this. It's just your finger is down here on the first fret, uh, second string, as opposed to uh, your fingers being down here on the third fret, okay? So there's your G, we're just dropping those two fingers down. Beginning. See, isn't that pretty? Okay. All right, let me show you the C chord. <clears throat> uh, C is going to be, like I say, first fret, second string, first finger. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to jump over here to the second fret with our uh, second finger on the uh, <clears throat> uh, fourth, fourth string mm -hmm. and uh, third finger over here on the fifth string of the third fret. We're going to strum five strings there. Okay. Then on to the D. Uh, second fret, third string, first finger, and second finger goes on the first string of the second fret, and our third finger goes on the second string of the third fret. We're going to strum four strings. Okay. And the last one is the minor chord, the E minor, and uh, I'll show you how I typically play it uh, because it, in, in the E position, uh, it, you just raise up your first finger and you put your middle finger on the uh, fifth string and uh, third finger on the fourth string, and that's your E minor, strum it all six. But because we're playing in this G, I'm gonna jump over here and play it this way, using these two fingers, so I don't have to do this, you know what I mean? And make it make it easier for you too, okay? So, because all I gotta do is I, I'm still, I keep my finger 
on that fifth string. That first finger stays on the fifth string, and I just move my middle finger over here to the uh, fourth string, second fret. That's all I got to do. So I just take that and I just I just slide down a little bit to make room for my. You know, still in the same fret. I just slide down a little bit to make room for my middle finger to get in that same fret there and hit that fourth string. And it's all six strings, all right? Okay, I'll try, try to stay consistent. Sometimes I switch G's up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to stay in that same G, all right, throughout. All right, so we're gonna be beginning, uh, and, and just the, the strumming on this thing is, Really alternating or anything, I'm just strumming. Just back and forth. C, C, G. Okay, here we go. You've been walking the same old road for miles and miles. You've been here, you matter. Same old. If you're trying to fill the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaker. Change. Sorry about that. I goofed that up a little bit. I'm going to do that last part again. I just, I'm looking at the words and I still missed them. I don't know. I'm going to go to that E minor. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior who got changed. He's a chain breaker. All right, so that's the first verse and the chorus. And I, 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 you know, just redo the whole video, but hey, we all goof up, you know what I mean? So it's just, I want to, I want to, I just like to just go back over it and show it to you right there. So it's not a big deal. All right, we're going to jump into the verse. And again, that verse, uh, this is the last verse. And then, like I said, we got a chorus, a bridge, back to the chorus again. Uh, and we're just doing that same thing, same thing with the, going back, from, back and forth from the G to the C. Search for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, there's a better life. If you've got pain. bridge this goes there's there's three lines to this bridge if you believe it if you receive it if you feel it we do that three times and uh, uh, I went to the C there the actual C but I think I'm just gonna stay in that in that same C that I showed you that we, we do in the beginning because I think that's gonna be easier for you to do that and to learn to do that and, and it, it's gonna sound just just as good so all right so let's try it again
to stop you know and everything but i'm wanting to you know i just want to explain everything uh to you and uh, make sure you understand it and, and make it just as simple as possible and as far as transitioning back and forth and everything and uh, hopefully you, you got that strumming down and i probably got it a little fast because my wife always told me i had that song a little bit fast so maybe a little slower Whatever's comfortable for you, you don't want it to be too fast. Uh, sometimes you get, uh, you know, with a band, with a drummer and everything, it's like, man, you want to, you know, you get, get in that rhythm. You just want to speed it up and that ain't the way it goes. So, so you know, keep it keep it as slow as you can there uh, where it works for you. And uh, hopefully uh, you got some out of this video. I know I goofed up a few times, but hey, you know what? I'm human and hey, we all do it. And uh, so hopefully I got it all corrected there for you. But anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, and checking out this song, Chain Breaker by Zach Williams. What an awesome song. And uh, be sure and check out our other videos, as I said earlier. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>